Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of representing numeric data. This is standard 6.12a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 1 of the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a table here, and it has 25 different values, and that's supposed to represent the number of photocopies made one day at each of the 25 schools in the school district. One thing you need to note is that they have actually placed these numbers in order for us from the least. So here's my least. It moves to the right, and it goes down to the next row, all the way down to my greatest right here. That's going to be very helpful when we are looking at this histogram. So let's take a look at these histogram options over here. A, B, C, or D. You're gonna think that they look very similar to a bar graph and they act almost identical to a bar graph. So just think of the bar graph, something we've been learning since kindergarten and first grade. The difference is, is look at what each of these bars represents. It represents a range of information. Think of it like a bucket. So this first bar on A, 800 to 899, represents the number of times the value anywhere from 800 to 899 showed up. So in a true bar graph, each bar represents one value. In a histogram, each bar represents a range or a bucket of values. Other than that, they work exactly the same. So let's take a look at these values here. So in A, we have fives all the way across. So let's just go ahead and label these like we would a bar graph. So this histogram on A shows that there's five values in each of these big five chunks. B, it's a little bit more of a stair step, so they're saying three, five, seven, seven, and three. Let's see, C has got three, five, eight and that is going to be six and then that's going to be back down to three all right and now we've got two five eight five that's pretty symmetrical there except for we got that three right there and so let's take a look at our options now what we need to do is we need to make these buckets and take a look at each of these is 800 to 899 900 to 999 so forth so you know what i'm just going to write each of these like this 900 1000 1100 and then 1200 let's just make tally marks and let's just see how we're doing here so in my 800 to 899 range, I've got one, two, three. I'm just going to put three right there. So we don't want to completely mark them out because we want to be able to read what's underneath them in case we make a mistake or we need to go back. In my 900 to 999 range, I've got one, two, three, four, five. And this is why I said it was really nice that they order these for you, because if not, you'd have to go all over this little table. And sometimes we miss stuff. And that 1,000 to 1,099, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That last one barely snuck in. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1,100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 1,200 looks like I've got three. And so looking at our answer selections, you can see that we've got three. So this one's not going to work. I'm looking for my 800s first. Uh, that's possible. That's possible. And D doesn't work. My 900s is five. So that's possible. That's possible. And my 1000s is 8, uh, so that one's not going to work. Let's just double check to make sure we've got 6 and 3. Check and check. My answer is C.